Hi everybody, I'm going to try to show you how I dye my, um, my 8 o'clock. Um, right here, just a dry piece of 8 o'clock. Um, I have my writ dyes that I'm going to use. I have my spray bottles. Um, over here, which you can't really see, I'll turn this so you can see it. I have a bucket that I use only for um, doing my dyes. I don't use anything else because of the chemicals. So what I do first is I'm going to put it in the um, hot water, just wring it out, okay, lay it down, flatten it. Okay, so the first color I have um, is a pink. I like the liquids better because if you use the liquids, um, they mix well. The powders, you have to be careful because if you don't mix them good, you'll get little red dots on your material. So you want to make sure the water's hot and you want to make sure you shake it really good. So, but the um, liquids, I don't seem to have any problems with. But So anyway, I just start spraying all over. I make it just a shade darker than what I really want because when you do rinse, of course, you lose some of the color. And I keep doing this. Let's see. A, okay, so I'm just going to show you where I'm at right now. So right now I just have this on here. I'm going to spray some more and then I'll come back so you don't have to have watch a super long video on how to do this. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I did spray the lavender all over the place just randomly. I do have in here, um, I believe it's some pink. So I'm just going to start spraying all over with the pink. Just wherever, wherever. Just keep going. Um, right there too. Okay, so you want to leave a little bit of the white in there. Okay, but this is what it looks like at this point. So I'm just going to let it sit again. And then I'm going to go with, um, I think I'd like to put some yellow in and see how that works. So I'm going to go switch up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I put some yellow in my bottle, shake it up, and again, I'm just going to start spraying all over. And that's about all I'm going to do at this point. So what I want to do now to see where I'm really at, I have my hot water here. I'll just move this over a little bit so nothing gets all over anything. There's my bucket. And I'm just going to Put it in there and swish it all around because the colors will blend a little bit. It'll mute out a bit depending how I want it to look. And then you can either add some more color um, or lighten it. Well, lighten it would be a little tough unless you put a little bit of bleach in it. It'll probably wreck the cloth. But um, usually it comes out really nice. You don't have to do that. Okay, now I'm really liking this. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I got some. Um, Lavender going, some pink, and a little bit of yellow. And I do have this. Of course, another granddaughter will get this. It's the best thing about having so many grandchildren is I can make all these projects for them. Um, so this is how I do it. So now I'm pretty much happy with this. And one other tip what I'd like to show you, just take one second. I'm just going to shut this off. Okay, my other little tip is cotton balls. Um, when you use the cotton balls, it kind of gives you a really good accurate color what you're dealing with. Like I have this one here. This is, I believe, teal. And see, when you dunk it, it shows you what you're dealing with, that color. And you got to remember, too, a little bit darker is okay. That's my dog, Molly. Molly, it's okay. Um, it'll be a little bit lighter when you rinse it all out. But I always use cotton balls to test what color meant. I just make such small amounts because I throw it away or either that I save soda bottles and I keep them under my sink in the bathroom um, like I'm working on a project and I actually ran out on the yarn I dyed and I saved the brown I made and I dyed a little bit more and I was up to up and running it was great so I do save my dyes a little bit for a while until I'm ready to go on to something else and um Anyway, this is what I do to dye. Um, the next thing I am going to be dyeing is some yarn for my granddaughter. And um, 
we'll see how that goes. But I hope this helps. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Make sure you do rinse out your material till it runs clear and dry press and surge or whatever the edge is and you're ready to go. That's how I get my material colorful and ready to roll. Bye.